What's up guys, it's your own Ninja Warrior Aviator Son of Superman I bring you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This time we're gonna be going over a new drill with our Scream Sticks. Alright guys, we're gonna be going over a, another short soap drill today. So let's get right into it. So first, we're gonna start off with our two sticks. Remember, it's always good to have a guard, so make sure one short stick is always back, ready pr to protect you at all times. So, <clears throat> our first strike is gonna be with our right hand. Obviously, you can do this left-handed first. It doesn't really matter. We're just gonna do with our right hand today because I feel like most people are right-handed. What we're gonna start off with is with our first strike. It's gonna be fingers up, striking across the temple, just like this, so one. Now, once you pull through with that strike, you're going to turn your fingers down and strike the other side of the temple, just like that. So it's gonna come one and two. And basically, this combination is gonna be this one strike four different times. So one more time, be very close, pay very close attention. Fingers up for the first strike, fingers down for the second strike. And then you're gonna do with your other hand, fingers up, fingers down. So one more time, up, down up down now the second part of this combination is super easy you're going to do the same thing but at the kneecaps with your target so you're going to go fingers up fingers down fingers up fingers down so one more time it should look something like this one two three four five six seven eight now notice whenever i was done with one strike i pulled my other stick back to switch because it's always good to have a guard. It's important to protect yourself because getting hit in the face with a short stick is not fun. I've been there. It, it just trust, take my word on that. So with that in mind, don't forget, leave your guard up. This is also a really good drill to do with a partner. You can clash sticks over and over to get your practice, get your speed, and get your pattern going. Uh, you can get Once you get into a fluid motion with your target, you can get going really fast. I don't have a partner with me here, but take my word for it. This is an excellent drill to do with a partner. However, if you are doing this with a partner, be very careful not to, if one, shatter the stick into their face if you're using something not meant for this so I suggest using uh, something that splinters or like uh, sheds off instead of uh, snaps so like PVC not the greatest choice because PVC snaps but something like bamboo not bad bamboo breaks in small pieces or it splinters off so stick with something like that if you're uh, wanting my opinion there's a bunch of different options so you don't have to do either of those you could do steel for all you I care but just keep that in mind when you're practicing with a partner. And lastly, don't forget that your targets are gonna be your temples and your and your knees, both inside and outside of the of your knees. So when you're striking, visualize your target. Whether or not you're striking. What? She only does this when I'm recording too. Anyway. Don't forget to visualize your targets when you're striking, uh, when you're practicing, regardless of whether you're alone or with a partner. But with all that said, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.